Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to freeze parts of an effects chain in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a synth. And it sounds like this. Let's take a look at the effects I have in this track. It starts off with a synth, then a compressor to control the volume, then an EQ to adjust the filter, but I haven't decided where I want to put this. Then I have a delay and a reverb. Now, in many situations, where you're using a computer that isn't very powerful, or you're running a lot of virtual synths like this one, or virtual instruments or drum software, it tends to take up a lot of DSP or CPU processing. So the way to reduce that is to freeze our tracks. So how we do that is we'd select the track, go to the track menu, and go down here to render freeze tracks. Then we choose one of these three options. Freeze tracks to mono, stereo, or multi-channel. This track is stereo, so we're gonna choose this one. And then it's gonna print that MIDI to an audio file. And then it locks it and adds the word freeze to the file, letting us know that this track is frozen. It's gonna sound the same, but it doesn't have any effects on the track, at least none that we can tweak, which doesn't make it very flexible. Because I mentioned earlier, I might still want to tweak my filter or my EQ. And the only way to do that is to unfreeze the entire track. Go to the track menu, render freeze, and go down here and unfreeze tracks, which brings all the effects back so we can tweak them. But that's not the best way to work if you know you want to adjust certain things, like in this situation, the filter. Because every time I want to adjust it, I have to unfreeze the whole track. So a better way of working is to just freeze some of the effects or parts of the effects chain. For instance, let's say we just wanted to freeze the synth, as most likely, it's taking up the most processing. So instead of doing it from the track, we can just select that effect, then right click down here and choose freeze track from this menu. And then choose from the options over here that are gonna freeze the track up to the last selected effect. In this case, it's just the synth. So if we choose this, it just freezes that one plugin. So it still turns it to audio and locks the file, but we can still edit most of the plugins. Our compressor, the EQ or filter, and the delay or reverb. So it's a lot more flexible, but it also frees up the processing from that synth. And like I said, this is going to work on any plugin or virtual instrument you want. Could be a piano, a synth, or drum software. We can just freeze that one plugin and still work with the others. And if we do need to turn it back on, we can just right click over here and unfreeze the track. But we could also do it by right clicking the track and doing it from here. Unfreeze tracks or restore that plugin. Then our synth shows back up so we can retweak it if we need to. And because of this feature, we can freeze in layers. Let's say we wanted to freeze the synth and the compressor. We could select the compressor, right click, Go to freeze track and choose 
freeze track to stereo, up to last, selected effect. So it's going to freeze our synth and the compressor together. And again, it turns it into an audio file, but we still have the option of tweaking our filter or EQ or the delay or the reverb. And we could layer multiple freezes. So let's freeze just the EQ. Freeze track. Freeze track to stereo up to last selected effect. So it's just going to freeze our EQ or filter. And let's do it again for the delay. Let's say we're happy with that. But we still want to tweak the reverb. And if we're happy with that, we want to freeze it. We could just freeze that and create another layer. Up to last, selected effect. So now we have multiple freezes in layers. So we can unfreeze them one at a time. The first unfreezing brings back the reverb. The second unfreezing brings back the delay. The third one brings back the EQ. And the fourth one brings back the compressor and the synth. So we can freeze our effects in layers. And we can also see what we've done in the track manager. Let's refreeze all this and go to the track manager in the view menu. Right down here, here's the synth track. And over here is the freeze column. And we can see we have four freezes on this track. And if we right click it, we can unfreeze it from here, one at a time. Let's undo that. Or we can see the details of what we froze. Just right click it and notice the freeze details for each one. The first one is our synth and compressor. The second one is the EQ or filter. The third one is the delay. And the fourth one is the reverb. So we can always see in the track manager what tracks are frozen and what effects are in each freeze. Right down here. And then unfreeze them as we need to. One at a time. Which is a lot more useful than having to freeze the whole track each time. We could just freeze the plugins that take up the most DSP or CPU processing. Maybe just the synth, freeze track, freeze track to stereo, up to last selected effect. And then it just freezes that VST instrument, in this case, the synth. But you could still tweak all the rest of the plugins without having to unfreeze that track. So that's pretty much it. That's freezing parts of an effects chain in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.